Hey, yo, my red gamers, welcome, and today we're not doing a fancy intro, but off screen I, I done a bit of grinding, uh, just a little bit, I got some auto metallium, this was the hardest part, um, doing this, um, getting those, uh, and also I don't think that's all I need, um, actually, I think I might need a bit more. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need more. Um. Okay, well, um. Fun. Don't know where. Yeah. I'm definitely needing more of those. Um, Motas. Um. Uh, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, it was hard to grind for these, but, um, I've got all the resources I'm needing except for one, which I'm getting now. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be doing a bit more of the, um, a bit more of the um of the alchemy area and yeah there's so and by that I mean I've got everything for the next four pieces of research so let's read the um as promised, last episode, I promised to do this. I have to read this out and complete this. So, let's do it. I have learnt much of w and one of those things is how much more I still have to learn. The world's re re revealed the to me uh, arcane and mysterious... Mm, with many invisible wonders and dangers. Mm, I need a tool that will allow me to see the unseen and dis and ease my journey of discovery. The old tests I have uh, re re read make mention of a set of goggles commonly used as by thermoturgers for just the, the, this purpose, uh, Al, Alasas, uh, the text does not mention exactly uh, how they work, so I need, will need to design my own from first principles. So complete. I have planned my own designs based on a little information I could find and my own. Uh, I'm fine, and my own experimental findings. Time to put theory to into practice. Not only will the goggles reveal hidden things, but they will also reduce the viz cost of certain things, certain you know, fermentable tasks. And, uh, lastly, these g goggles will. Um, will allow me to see the viz or essentia content of um, objects in the world which will prove a great um, b boon. I am sure the most important thing I have learned that however um, is, uh, is the possibility of crafting delicate mechanical devices using magic and in, in the Burning the them with arcane power. Cool, and that's now we can do golem three, but we're probably going to do that next episode. Um, but yeah. Um, so now the going back into alchemy. As you can see, we've got eventful, ever full urn and liquid death, as well as all these. So, 
Um, I haven't got the Furies, so I will have to do that off screen, but basically just do a Fury of, I'll show you what you need a Fury of. But basically, let's do these um, first. Uh, so, eventful earn, um, discovering alchemy, meaning, yeah, there we go, now complete. Oh, wait, I've got to... Oh, oh, well, a small fountain of pure water always flows from the top of this urn, making it a perfect water source to fill my buckets, bottles, or other liquid containers. The urn will also automatically replenish any liquid container um, any liquid containers within two blocks of it. If they accept no water from the top, the, this is uh, perfect for automatically refilling crucibles, but has other uses as well. Mm, fluid pipes can mm, be attached to the top of the urn for more mundane uses. Every a bucket full of water created costs one vid which is drawn directly from the aura. The water does taste a bit odd. Nothing to worry about I'm sure. So now let's um make the eventful urn. Mm, so we need 30 aqua and 10 terra and 10 craft or fabrusto fabrusio and then we've got the urn now I'm just gonna put that there um now we can yeah um now see uh yeah it's refilling it cool so, anyways, uh, that's that one down there, done, complete. So, now, liquid death. Now, we can do these two, uh, so I'll read out the other one. So, oh dear, what have I done? This liquid is so dangerous, toxic, that the... Virtually nothing can prevent it from dissolving flesh, bone, and even harder substances. Nothing alive or that even displays the semblance of life can survive it. Apart from ob obvious uh, particular uh, apl applications, this vile substance has another interesting property uh, any essentia a dissolved no creature possesses form form into crystals that can be harvested yeah so this is basically what we were needing the other thing for um um okay a uh, let me look here. I'm trying to find something that will... I think we might need to go outside and get one last thing. Um... Hello? Any, um, skeletons wanna come out? Oh, sorry, I've got armor, so... That's why I'm being so brave at the moment. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be coming out here. If it wasn't for the armor. Yeah, okay, well. Hey! You wanna go? Yeah, die.
It's a zombie or it's a skeleton. That's a zombie. Oh, hello creeper. Creeper man. Kill, well, that wasn't really what I was looking, what I was looking for, and that's what I'm looking for right there. Hello, what's up, my dude? Are you ready to die? Yes, you are. Don't know what you're talking about. Lord. When would you be ready to die? Oh my. I'm needing to run. Um, I'm needing to run even further. Okay. My gosh. Uh, I don't, that, wait, this, cool, eat, eat, eat. Oh, wait, hey, spider, um, mind, um, dropping a few spider eyes? from there ASAP, um... Hello, skeleton. Die. Oh, hello. Please drop spider eyes. Hello. Got the perfect amount now. Um, hopefully. Now let's go over to my house. Yeah. Uh, uh, to my hut. Um, hole. Base. Aye. Cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, now that should give us five. Um, things, uh, we're having to go to the never real quick, okay. Yeah, my boy, this will probably be the first time we've seen the never on the screen. Ah, uh, hopefully, I don't know, it might not be, but yeah. Um, also in order for to get the thing that we just completed, you need to go to the never at least once, but... In order to get the goggles, you need to go to the never at least once. And hello... I oh, dude, um... Okay, there's a wisp. A wisp. Okay, you... These can sometimes be aggressive, um... Okay, 
Okay. Now, also, scan that. Cool. Now, let's go back to the overworld. Um. But first. Hello. 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 And hello, Magma. Yeah, um, kill. Yeah, so over here and all the way at the end. Now go up, up, up. Um, it's so dark for me. Um, cool. Now, jump. Okay, I'll scan obsidian. Now. Yeah, now that we've done that, we can actually get the final bit of the next research that we're going to be doing. Which is by chucking two bones in, then a bunch of that in. Uh, yeah. Now. Yeah, you need a hundred of the motas. So we just we have one over a hundred. Um, and then also you need one um, bucket as well. So one empty bucket. So we need one hundred mot more tasks. And 20 alchemia, and no, 50 Petitio, and one bucket, which will make liquid death. And that is that. Now, liquid death is annoying, so we're just gonna um, put it somewhere. Um, yeah. I'm not wanting to do that. Uh, so, yeah, we'll leave that for now, so, anyways, now let's do the, um, the, um, Essentia smelting thing. So, plonk, um, yeah, now, Okay, basically you'll be giving up all these crystals, by the way, so, yeah, um, my experiments are promising a bit of unpredictable power, fortunately, um, the fires were easily quantified, and my hair quenched uh, and my hair should grow back in a few days. It seems melting objects down in a special alchemical process is my best opinion. Unfortunately, my test so far has been on primal crystals. I should also test my finding on crystals containing secondary essentia. That is essentia made up of a combination of two primal aspects. The third, they're known as a tertiary essentia, also exists in that in essentia made up of a mixture of primal and secondary aspects, or two secondary aspects. Okay, so this one, um, we need, we're needing some tambri, which I did not get. I think I do have some tambri, though. Um, if not, uh, uh, what, what is tambri again? Because it doesn't look like I've got tambri. I'm getting a bunch of notifications. Shut up. So, uh... 
darkness, um, so, the moon, um, thing. Ooh, wait, actually. Um, might need to go to the river again, but, I mean, yeah, um, last time I checked, uh, there's a way to, the way I got that in my actual survival is by using actual, um, thermaturgy, uh, Yeah, here, um, now, yeah, that has that in, meaning that we can actually make it out of this. Uh, now, let's go to the never again. Also, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, and you need to never miss an upload. And also share this video with your friends, because I'm needing more views. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hello. I need to go all the way over here. Cool. I will get a second one, in case I might need another thing. Okay, cool. Um. Okay, let's go over to the darkest part of the never which I found. Yeah, this is the darkest place in the never. I'm probably needing to light this up. Eventually. Also, by the way, next episode we're going to be taking a break from, um, the process of doing the Formicon. We're actually go going to be doing, um, some building. We're going to be building a house. So, now that we've done that, we should be able to complete... wait. Oh. Oh. I've done the wrong thing. Oh. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, now, this is a problem. I uh, don't know where I would be able to get the exchange something um, from. What item would be exchange? What item would count as exchange? Um, hmm, this is a problem. A really big problem, actually. Uh, <laughs> well, um, that's cool. Uh, I'll be right back after I found out what I could use. Um, so yeah, I'll just check all these first, and then I'll. Okay, see you all in the next clip after I've got one need. Bye. 
Okay, guys, we're back. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, I've got the thing that I was needing. So, let's complete the that part of the thing. Yes, melting. Now, I have managed to break down all my samples of primary and secondary essential into a liquid state. The process has been slow and tedious. However, until I so simply simplify it, it, the process will mm, be never be particular f for large scale usage. Luckily, extracting essentia from objects has a lot of common with the smelting of metals. Using a furnace as a base, I might be able to create an essentia smeltery and that automatically melts down items and s separates out individual types of essentia. So, basically, now we're needing to make the essentia smeltery. Now, that's what these are for. So, for this you will need one crucible, one furnace, five pieces of cobblestone and mm, I think that's it oh wait no you also need three brass ingots and craft them all together in one straight line to make brass um plates now you need two brass plates you p you put the two brass plates in the corners one furnace one crucible and five no, cobblestone underneath. So this is the crafting recipe and you also need one ingus crystal and with that you can make the Essentia Smeltery. Now, yeah, I'll probably need to go mining for some more coal but for now let's just put one piece of charcoal in. Yeah. Now, that is that whole thing, the whole process, there. Now, observation, I need observation for, and that, so, uh, let's observe the, that, um, now, here we go, um, okay, now, this theory, these are theories, this metal for purification, I need two theories for. So I'll I'll be right back after I got those those two theories. Okay, guys, we're back, and um, yeah, I've got the two theories for this. So native clusters are rare constructions of metals in its purest form. These clusters when smelted produce twice the normal amount of ingots. If I can find a way to per, of pro, producing native clusters um, alchemically it would uh, greatly reduce my need uh, to constantly go mining. Yeah, uh, cool. Well, anyway. Uh, and stupid notification. So, this is the final thing of this um, episode. But basically, uh, we're going to make one of each. Um, one of each type of cluster in this video. So that's cool. Um. And yeah, uh, basically, all you need for this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 auto and 5 metallium, and then 1 cinnabar ore, and that will give you the native cinnabar cluster. And then do the exact same amount of viz crystals on the exact same types for the other two, so 5 auto. 5 metallium and then a gold ore 
then five auto, five metallium, and one iron ore. And then that will give you all the native clusters. And that has made us so, uh, that's made us so we can now finish doing all these. And we can read these ones out of that. We might as well, because we still have some time in this episode. So, water jars and labels. Essentia can be stored in water jars. Water jars can be placed in the world and, and are able to store Essentia virtually immediately the enchantment placed on the jars can also make adding or extracting essential uh, a breeze jars can be filtered from an um, our chemical my uh, our, uh, our very uh, our brick or album brick uh, by clicking with um, the jar directly and the alberic can uh, they no, ja, they can also be filtered and empty, emptied using files. What is more, they make an ex excellent storage medium for ja, gems and preserves. Preserves. Uh, shift click on jars and um, abic. Album licks you know, with an empty hand will empty them. So basically, there's the um, water jar, void jar, which you just need a water jar with a a predito. You also need some brass for this, um, like most things. You need some brass nuggets as well as a few sticks for for the brass lid brace. And then there's also the paper for the labels, blank labels and that. With ink sack and a slime ball, of course. So um yeah, basically, um that's all for this episode. Um Next episode, we will. Huh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking about it. And I think we might actually start working on the golem. Um. Uh, well, actually, not next episode, but next. Then in the next episode we're working on things and that. Oh wait, I well I forgot to do this a couple of episodes ago, but I am now ready to begin crafting magical uh, mechanisms and to indicate arcane devices. And then uh, basically it's saying how we do things and that. Um, I will show you those in time. But basically. Yeah, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope to see you all in the next video, guys. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next video, guys. Bye. Uh.